Hello, thank you for joining me today for Give Him 15. The title of today's post, Important Upcoming Events. I'm unsure why most believers do not pray passion, passionately for America's recovery and turnaround. I suppose it's a combination of causes. For some, it is their theology. They believe the condition of America and the world is just a sign of the times. There's nothing we can do to stop it. God is sovereign. If he wanted to change it, he would. They believe, just accept it. We'll be rescued soon by the rapture. Then there are those who fall prey to the frog in the kettle syndrome. The premise is that if a frog is put suddenly into boiling water, it'll jump out. But if the frog is put in tepid water, which is then brought to a boil slowly, it will not perceive the danger and will be cooked to death. The story is often used as a metaphor for the inability or unwillingness of people to react to or be aware of sinister threats that arise gradually rather than suddenly. Some modern biologists dispute this theory, but the metaphor is still used extensively. Regardless, the phenomenon has certainly occurred in America today. To many Americans, including the church, warnings about what is occurring in America have gone unheeded. The growth of government, loss of freedoms, incredible moral decay, Rebellion against God. These and other destructive phenomena have occurred one degree at a time. We adjust and all seems okay. Meanwhile, another baby is killed, another child is castrated, and another sin is accepted as normal. One would think the church would surely be ablaze with fervent prayer and Grieving repentance after 65 million abortions. No, no time for that. I'm happy to tell you that despite our compromise and lukewarmness in the American church, God is waking up this frog. A remnant is awakening to America's true condition, and they are praying. Several key prayer endeavors are taking place in our nation this fall, and millions from around the world have agreed to help. Yes, I said millions. Dave Cabal, president and CEO of Intercessors for America, says regarding our times and the upcoming prayer initiatives, quote, we're in a crucial battle for America and the world in 2024. International conflicts could spark World War III, and global elites are pushing for a new world order. Once a proud superpower that sought to spread and uphold faith in God and promote values like democracy and human rights, America is increasingly adopting a more secular mindset and recklessly accumulating debt. It's a scary time. For humanity. But God has given us the powerful tool of united prayer, Dave says. As E. M. Bounds said, prayer can do anything that God can do. We need to come together and seek His guidance for America's future. Join forces with fellow believers this fall to resist the evil one's plans and protect our nation and the global body of Christ from his agenda. And then he mentions two events. Global Zoom prayer call kickoff, September 22. He says, join the kickoff for a three-week prayer initiative. By joining us for the Global Day of Prayer, a three-hour global Zoom prayer call featuring international prayer leaders. This will lead into focused prayer, fasting, and shared concerns 
as we seek agreement in Matthew 18, 19. This is a global day of prayer for America. Then he mentions two culminating Washington, D.C. events, October 10 through 12, saying the initiative will finish in Washington, D.C. with the National Prayer Assembly, October 10 and 11, and the Million Women on the Mall gathering on October 12th, the Day of Atonement. And that's uh, end of Dave's quote. Now, I say I'm excited to be participating in these events. As I alluded to earlier, during the three hours of prayer on September 22nd, 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern Time, we are expecting millions, millions of people around the world to join us, literally. Believers around the world are praying for revival in America. Dr. Jason Hubbard, director of the International Prayer Concert, says, quote, it's our desire to see a massive, full-scale revival and awakening erupt in America. We've been asking for another historic move of the Holy Spirit to sweep across our land and awaken a generation to wholehearted love and surrender to Jesus. We are longing for a gospel explosion, a tsunami of revival to come crashing in on the beaches of our nation for the spread of his fame, for the extension of his reign, for the increase of his gain, and for the honor of his claim of that which rightfully belongs to him from coast to coast, from sea to shining sea. We're in desperate need of revival in America. Many of our churches are prayerless and plagued with pride, he says. Many of our homes and marriages are broken. Believers are said to only donate 2% of their income in one of the wealthiest nations of the world. The overall church growth in America is stagnant. The church and its leaders are struggling to walk in John 17 oneness. Our nation is divided politically and socially. As we know, only a united church can heal a divided nation. He says Samuel Davies reminded us from his vantage point of the Second Great Awakening saying there are eras when only a large outpouring of the Spirit can produce a public general reformation. Davies witnessed firsthand how revival and awakening brought a cultural change that nothing else could accomplish. The pastor of St. John's Wood, John's Wood Presbyterian Church declared after the Welsh revival in which 100,000 people came to Christ in nine months, that the mighty unseen breath of the Spirit was doing in a month more than centuries of legislation could accomplish. May the church in America bring our minds and hearts before the bonfire of God's all-consuming Son, the Lord Jesus, asking for a greater revelation of who He is where he's headed, what he's doing, and how he has blessed. Let's ask for a glorious gospel explosion to erupt in this nation for his renown. End quote. I'll be saying more about these prayer events in the coming days, but please put these dates on your calendar now. Don't miss the opportunities to pray and agree with millions of people around the world. Let's pray now. Father, you know our propensity as humans to default on accepting responsibility whenever possible. We in America have looked the other way, hoping someone else fixes our nation's problems, but we must accept responsibility and take action. 
We thank you for awakening Americans, especially the church, to our true condition. Ask for this to continue. We also ask you to awaken believers to the incredible authority they have in Christ with which to change this. Our prayers can bring your mercy and transforming power. Stir the hearts of millions to take up the cause. Thank you for moving on the hearts of millions of believers around the world to pray for America. Stir the hearts of millions of Americans to participate on September 22nd and the events thereafter. You said America shall be saved. These are some of the methods you will use. Thank you. and In Christ's name we pray. Our decree, we decree that by the mercies and power of God, America is shifting this upcoming fall. I believe that. Thank you for joining me. Block those dates and join us in prayer. And please join me again tomorrow.